Recommended landscape sizes for height maps. So what texture resolution should you use when you create your own height maps? After excessive testing and experimentation, I recommend to use the height map resolution listed in Epic's recommended landscape sizes chart. You can get access to it right here in the link. So for example, if you are in Photoshop and you create a new document, you should set the width and height that is listed in the overall size vertices column. And I've seen many people use the power of two texture size, but this has created some issues when I was testing it. So why should you use Epic's recommended landscape sizes versus power of two texture size? The reason for this has to do with the stretching effect around the edges of the landscape if you're using power of two height map sizes. So here's an example. I created this height map in Photoshop and it is 2048 by 2048 texture resolution. When I import it into UE4, and create the landscape, this produces a stretching effect around the edges of the terrain. And this usually means that the height map resolution is not correct for UE4, and UE4 had to compensate by taking the data and stretching it out to create the correct height map resolution size. If I create a height map with the resolution that's recommended in the chart, so it would be 2017 by 2017, which is very similar to the size of 2048 by 2048. And then I import it into UE4. The landscape height map produced the correct result. No more stretched out edges. So my conclusion was that it's better to use the Epic's recommended landscape sizes and not power of two texture sizes. However, if you have a height map that is power of two texture size, you can still use it with an adjustment. And very briefly, if you don't know what a power of two texture sizes are, these are texture sizes that begin with a value of two, and you would add the number to itself to get the next texture resolution size. So it would start at two by two, and we go to four by four, eight by eight, 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, and 8192. So here's the fix that I found. When importing a height map that is a power of two texture size, prior to creating the landscape, simply remove one component from the height map. So for example, for 2048 by 2048 height map, it will give you a number of components set to 17 by 17. So all you would do is remove one component. So make it 16 by 16. And then when I import, this will work perfectly and you will no longer have the stretched out edges around the terrain. So either A, author your height maps using the Epic's recommended landscape sizes chart, or if you get stretched out edges, simply remove one component prior to creating the height map.